It is Drive Live and it is nearly 12 past 6. EnviroServe presents the Dubai Eye 103.8 Entrepreneur Awards 2017. Celebrating the best and most innovative entrepreneurial success in society. We are into week two. It's the Leadership Week. We're very nearly at the end of the week. Our fourth nominee is here, plus the person who was nominated. This gentleman is with us. Now, the Leadership Award is an attempt to reward an individual, once again, who has shown leadership drive in the ability to succeed. Tomorrow, Thursday, we're going to have our judging panel in the room. They're going to be, uh, will, will have been listening out for the person with the most exceptional leadership qualities, somebody who motivates the people around them and also in inspires them. The prize is a weekend in Switzerland, in Zurich to be precise. It's uh, all expenses paid and it's a reward for the leader essentially. Now we have uh, Nadika Gayatri with us. She's from Leader Healthcare. Nadika, nice to meet you. Good of you to come Thank in. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. You have nominated Sukdeep Sachdev for the Dubai Eye Entrepreneur Leadership Award 2017. Sukdeep is here. He's the CEO of Leader Healthcare. Sukdeep, nice to have you here too. Thank you. Same here. Now, uh, you're both welcome here. Stuart Fleming is back from a couple of days in Rwanda. You've been there with Michelle Loxton from the Area News Centre. What was it like, Stuart? It was fantastic from start to finish. Very busy days and uh, action-packed and just came back again enthused about what is uh, what, what we've done there and what the country is all about. I mean, essentially for Michelle, it was a trip kind of going home back to Africa. She is uh, from uh, Zimbabwe in South Africa, brought up in South Africa. So uh, that's one side of it. But also it was a chance to follow the e-waste journey, really, wasn't it? And to understand more about what you do. It was, it was a bit like trying to find the source of the Nile. We took her to the source of, <laughs> source of, uh, of e-waste in Africa. <laughs> and, uh, so she's been able to put the story together now and, and see it visually. Right. Well, you're going to be questioning our fourth leadership nominee today. Now, what we're going to do, as we have all week this week and throughout these awards, we're going to start with a 30-second pitch from the person who nominated uh, our nominee today, Sukdeep Sachdev from Leader Healthcare. Nadika Gayatri, you have the floor. Your 30 seconds, I'm just going to wait for the clock to count down here, <laughs> begins now. Okay, so uh, Mr. Sachdev, he's actually a very inspiring person. He's a self-motivated person. Uh, we all enjoy his life lessons start during the meetings, and um, it's something that he shows compassion towards us and to our families, which makes us better employees in the company. As our company name, a Leader Health Care, we are totally groomed by his guidance to be leaders itself. And he's reachable. He's our mentor. If you need him anywhere in the region, if it's Saudi Arabia, Qatar, he'll get onto a flight and he will be there for you. Okay. So inspiring for us. That's your time. Thank you very much. I'm going to hand over to you, Stuart, now to ask questions of uh, Sukti. Thank you very much. Um, Sukti, Hi. you've been nominated. Thank you. Yes. What makes you the leader? Well, um, the leadership for me is is a, is a success story. It's a story of life. It's a journey. Um, you know, like leadership, it, I consider it as a is a practice with a purpose. Uh, that's that's what it is. And it's not that leadership is a is a process. It's in your genes. Like it stays there. You can't put it on and off. Like it has to be there twenty four seven. For me, in my life, the leadership has just begins at home. It goes to the workplace. It goes to my customers and. Last not the least, you know, it goes to community. So this is how I think the four roles, which I've divided for myself, and I think we are very proud of what we do um, in these four areas. So, Sadika, for, for nominating him, you know, what, what sets him apart from, from leaders? He's mentioned some, some obvious leader, leadership skills, but what sets him apart? Um, normally in a company, you would always see your boss around. And uh, with Mr. Sachdev and how big our company is in the region, he is not there, but his presence, his leadership, the strategy that he has placed in the company is something that exists, and we work towards it. The goals, the passion, the motivation, the mission to the community is always there, so that's all to him. Absolutely, and uh, so J we talked about um, strategy earlier on as well. Now, what is your strategy for, for your staff? Not so much your business, but your staff. Um, see, like... Um Basically, when I came into this country almost 28 years ago, like uh, uh, we did not have a, a leadership like available here. I, I worked for a multi multinational companies like Glaxo's and Siemens, 
And when I came like in 1990s, it was like a trader's world. And you couldn't uh, look up to somebody, you couldn't chase up to somebody to your dreams, right? And we had to do everything on our own. So that was a dream of my own. Like I wanted, whenever I, I built a company, I want to build a company on some core values. Um, you know, like bring people on board, uh, groom them, you know, like, uh, for example, in this region, uh, uh, I want to quote one example, which is which is very suited for the question you asked. Uh, uh, a lady walked in here for an interview from the region, and you know, in the region, in the region we have some language issues, and we, she came on board, and, and she could only say yes and no. And we got her admitted to British Council. She went through several modules. We brought her the next year into Toastmasters Club. So we built those skills uh, for her. And and today, this lady, I mean, she's the age of 30. She drives a Porsche Boxer. <laughs> so, I mean, we groom them. We feel happy for them. And so what we do is basically to, again, answer your question, is like we, we get our people. We delegate responsibilities. We listen to them. We, um, you know, like... Uh, look at their reviews, periodic reviews, we reward them often, and also like, you know, we, we, we take them out, like say, we don't have a typical office routine, like every month we just go out like in one of the locations in, in Dubai and, and out of the office, and then we have nine to six like kind of a, a TED workshops, grooming them like all the time to say, they, hey listen, you know, the world is going to be different for all of us, like so, basically they are like the business owners like of the company, it's a company that's owned by employees, let's put it this way. Sukdeep Sach, uh, Dev is the CEO of Leader Healthcare. He's nominated for the Dubai Entrepreneur Leadership Award 2017, nominated by Nedika Gayatri, who is here as well. We've got more questions for you in a few minutes' time, including why, when you set up in 2009 against everybody's advice, that was a tough time here. Sure. We'll try and get to the bottom of that as well. More to come. We